So the research in the lab, we want to understand how it is that your brain forms during development. And if you think about the brain, it has billions of these cells called neurons that are electrically excitable cells that communicate all of your thoughts and actions. And what we want to understand is how do they find the right partner when the brain is forming. Think about the neurons in the brain, they have to communicate with each other in order to exchange information. And they do this at specialized connections called synapses. So there's a number of um, developmental disorders such as um, autism or ADHD, more recently schizophrenia has been implicated in this, that these are disorders where perhaps the synapses aren't forming properly or they aren't communicating properly. A synapse is basically a junction between two neurons. It's a tiny little gap where the communication between these two cells happens. The sending neuron sends out a chemical signal, a molecule if, basically, um, which then travels this tiny little gap of where they are connected, and this is how information will move from one neuron to another. So in our lab, we don't just look at these neurons, but we look at all the other cells in the brain that they normally interact with. And there's this particular type of cell called astrocytes, and they're around at the time when neurons are first making connections with each other. And what we did in the lab is that we discovered that actually these connections don't form by themselves. They actually need a signal from a nearby astrocyte in order to make the connection form. Our specific study focused on one of the proteins that these astrocytes make. And this protein uh, instructs neurons to make an active synapse. So this synapse will uh, induce neuronal activity. What we found is our, uh, the protein that is secreted, released from the astrocyte, it talks to the presynaptic side, the presynaptic neuron, so the sending neuron, to release another protein to talk to the postsynaptic neuron, so that's the receiving neuron. In, in, in this way, the astrocyte actually talks to both sides of the synapse. We have this situation where it's not just the two neurons talking to each other, but how they talk to each other and how they communicate is being regulated by the nearby astrocytes. Now that we've identified what some of the signals astrocytes use to talk to the neurons and how the neurons then respond to these signals, we want to think about how we could perhaps target these pathways or target the astrocytes themselves to come up with novel therapies for different neurological disorders.